Well, greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage. This one I actually worked on for a couple of weeks, mostly because, well, I kept getting bogged down and worrying if I wasn't, um, wasn't getting the eyes just right or the tones just right. And I was really scared because I was using yellow in her face which just seemed, I don't know, so off. And, and then when I got it all put together, since the values were correct, the yellow looked fine, which makes me wonder at myself for having doubted, <laughs> having feared for so long to even start. So as you can see, I'm doing the background first. And I wanted a pale, background even though my photo reference had rather a dark background but I wanted her to have a reverent look and to be in the light rather than in the dark I thought she had a charming face and so here's what I came up with <laughs> as happens so often I have uh, half a dozen things going on <laughs> on my art table in my sphere here at the same time I'm working on the cover for a book I'm working on some articles for an online um, an online magazine and um, doing children's faces as you know I'm trying to do one every day uh, drawing in charcoal and then of course I've got my house and my husband to take care of which <laughs> takes a lot of time so, um, so yeah I can't just spend all day working on what I want to do as much as I'd like to do that I do like the blue with the um, idea of reverence. There's something about blue being a very spiritual color, <laughs> at least to my mind. And I'm being very careful going around the perimeter of her face so that I can keep that, that pencil lined and intact. Sometimes I just go right over it with my little pieces of paper, but this time I was just being really careful. As the weather gets cooler, I'm, I'm so grateful <laughs> for the cooler weather. And at one point I thought I had the camera on and found that I didn't, so I had to uh, turn it on. So you can see I already started on the face, putting in some sort of brownish places. Get her eyes in place. You can see I cut, I cut them out and put them together separately and then I can just move them around and make them fit correctly. The same with the nose. See over there on the left hand side I've got a little orange piece and two little you know looks like commas in in dark dark brown. That's the nose. I've already cut it out the shape that I wanted it. So that all I have to do, once I get the background of the nose shadows in place, is just sit that nose right there. It's the underside of her nose that has this orange shadow.
And there's a shadow, see there, I'm putting in the nose. There's a shadow on that side of her mouth. The muzzle creates a rounded part around the lips where it extends. And so there's a shadow on one side and a light side on the other side. And if you don't have that correct, her face will look flat. Then at the corners of the mouth, there would be a little bit of a shadow. And you notice I, I take the colors and I sort of place it there and I look at it and I see, is that going to work? Is that the right value? Is that the right tone? Will that add to it or take, it, take away from it? And then I put glue on it and <laughs> drop it into place. The underside of the chin, she has a little dimple in her chin. And here I've got to cut out the upper and the lower lip. The upper lip is going to be darker because it's in shadow. And the lower lip would be lighter because it's catching the light as it extends. out. So there, I've cut out the piece for her mouth, the upper lip. And then the lower lip. And a highlight that's catching the light on the lower lip. So all that yellow on the face actually looks pretty good. As long as the values are correct, it doesn't matter. I could have done it in green. And it would have looked good. So right about here, my camera turned off and I didn't get the rest of the highlights on the edge of her, her little drape around her head. But here it is, the finished product. I hope you like what I did with this little girl. She's got lots of little hidden pictures and words, as I normally do. I even put a few drawings of children, line drawings, that um, I had done myself into the background. And that's fun for me. I hope you enjoyed watching this and hope you do check out some of my links below and my Patreon page where people are supporting me and doing what I do here. I have the Patreon link up there in this um, end page and also in the links below. Do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone.